friends and welcome. I am so glad you're here. Um, if you're new, welcome. If you've been coming, I'm so glad to see you again. Um, it is Art Date with Miss Kate and I'm Miss Kate. Um, we've been doing the high seas so far this week. We've talked about lighthouses and we've talked about um, pirates. Uh, today we're going to talk about the blue whale. Before we start talking, make sure you check below. That'll have what you need for today um, and anything else I might throw down there. Um, and yeah, let's get going. So this creature is magnificent. It is huge. It's one of the largest creatures known to ever exist on Earth. How large, you ask? I shall tell you. It's the size uh, of two semi-trucks. Those big, gigantic 18-wheelers, two of them. Epically huge. Let's get some more details about how huge, though. Its tongue, look at your tongue, or feel it. It's kind of tiny. Its tongue weighs the same as an elephant. You could fit up to 100 people on its tongue. And its heart, so our heart fits inside of our chest, is kind of tiny. Its heart is the size of your car. Can you believe that? So we, if you went and got in your car, you could be like, wow, I'm inside the heart of a, a, be, a blue whale. It's so big. The other thing, it's, some of its blood vessels are so large, humans can actually swim through them. I wouldn't recommend it. You'd probably not survive. But could you imagine? That is a huge animal. These animals um, roam in all oceans around the world. Not the Arctic though, it's a bit too cold. They travel usually in groups of two, um, sometimes up to four, but because they're so large, it's kind of hard to use uh, uh, move around in a large pack. Um, but this is kind of interesting. Let's say I was a blue whale in Florida, because I am in Florida, and I had a friend blue whale up in New York. Their voices are so loud that they could hear each other. I know right now if I was talking that my friend in New York definitely can't hear me, but if a blue whale were to make noise, it can be heard 1,000 miles away. Yeah, pretty, pretty interesting. One other really cool thing about these creatures is they fall into the category of baleen. Uh, baleen means a filter feeder. So, they have these specialized plates in their mouth instead of teeth. They're called baleen plates and they act kind of like um, a hairbrush. Uh, you know how it like has all those little bristles? Well, water flows through them, but it traps krill. Krill's like little shrimps and stuff. And it traps the krill into the, um, the bristles. So that's how it gets its food. So what it'll do is it'll open its mouth really big the water will rush past it, go through those baleen plates, any little pieces of food will get stuck in it, and it will um, be able to eat that way. It's a really cool uh, feature of these creatures. So, that's some really cool stuff about the blue whale. Um, besides just being so huge, it's a magnificent creature, and I thought what we could do today is we'll design some blue, blue whales, and we'll actually make them 3D meaning they pop off the page. 2D means it's flat, like a drawing or a painting. Um, it's just, you can see it, you can touch just the flatness of it. 3D means you can see it on all sides. It kind of pops off the page. It's, um, it's like us, we're three-dimensional. We have a, a height, we have a width, and we have a thickness, a depth. So we're gonna make some 3D blue whales today. You'll need, let's do two sheets of paper. We might be able to do it with one, but let's be on the safe side. Um, scissors, glue, uh, anything I like to color with, a pencil, and I think that's it. So gather up your stuff, I'll get my table ready, and I'll meet you back here in two snaps of a finger click. All right, artists, here we go. So this is gonna be our blue whale. Um, we're gonna do it where it's three-dimensional. We're gonna try our best to create this accordion um, thing that helps it to pop off the page. If it's a little challenging, I'll show you a second option. And we'll add some, 
uh, water coming out of its blowhole and we'll get started. So I think we'll be able to fit it all on one paper. Um, what you're gonna do is take your paper and we'll put it, uh, we're gonna fold it in half. So we're gonna make the right side fold over and meet the left side. Put a crease in it and then go ahead and open it up. We're gonna quickly cut it down the middle. That way we've got two sheets. Okay, put your scissors down. Remember, scissor safety. Hope you were not looking at the screen when you cut. Move one out of the way, that'll be our background. Let's start with drawing our whale and then we'll move on to the background and we'll kind of go back and forth. So, the whale might look a little tricky, but it's actually not so bad. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna turn our paper a little bit like this and we're gonna draw the letter S. We're gonna do it closer to the top of the page. You're gonna draw an S, great big S. Fill up your page. Got it? Now, that actually is the top of the whale and the back of his fin, his uh, tail. So what we'll do now is we're gonna um, connect this bottom line. We're gonna go around and then swing it up. We'll add in his, uh, the end of his tail and you can kind of do this um, however you wish. Um, I'll show you how I'm gonna do it and you can follow along, but if you have a different idea of how you want the tail to look, that works too. It's gonna kind of go like a, a kind of like a flower petal, kind of bulges out and kind of goes to a point. You're gonna kind of bulge it out. And we'll go in, we can put his eye, which we'll do just a circle. And the blue whale isn't actually blue. It looks blue when it's under the water, the way the reflection hits it, but it's actually a grayish color outside of the water. That was an interesting little fact I found. I also found that the underbelly has a sulfur color, kind of like a yellowish brown, um, but we're gonna stick with this fun blue. Um, so we'll add that bottom. So we're gonna do a curve line, sort of just separates like the top of him from the bottom of him. And we'll add in his flipper. Now, if you see, I did marker and I can erase it, but if you had, you can go in and erase that or you can just color right over it. And one last thing, we'll put like a little bit of a pattern, just some lines that repeat on the bottom, just so we sort of know this is his, his belly, um, kind of makes a little bit of a difference, okay? And that's about it for our whale drawing. He's not too challenging. What we're also gonna do is we're gonna draw two straight lines on the very bottom. One, two. We're gonna save those for a second, or I'll show you in a second what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and color our whale in quickly. I'm gonna do blue um, for the top side. Uh, you can use any color if you wish. If you'd rather not make it a blue whale and you wanna make it a purple whale or a rainbow whale, that's completely fine. I'm just gonna use my blue washable marker and fill them in. If you have crayons, you can do that. If you have colored pencils, I'm gonna make his tail that color as well. Oops, I got a little bit out of the line there, but it's okay. One, cause we're going to cut it out and two, if we weren't cutting it out, I might be able to turn that into something else. All right, and I'm gonna do his little underbelly, do it like a grayish color. So remember at any point during this, if you need to um, pause the video to catch up, go ahead and do that. When you push play, we'll be right there waiting and ready to go back up, to keep going. 
All right, so next step is gonna to be to cut this out. We're gonna cut the whale out. We're gonna cut these two strips, okay? Um, scissor safety, make sure you are not watching me when you cut. Make sure that you are looking down, okay? If you wanna stop and pause, you can do that. Um, I'd rather you save all your little fingers than get a little cut just because you accidentally looked up. So I've got my two strips. I'm gonna put those to the side getting my whale. Cut out. And if this is a bit challenging to cut, you can always ask someone who's nearby um, to maybe give you a hand. The tail might be a little tricky, so just do your best. So I'm gonna move my scissors out of the way for good because we don't need them anymore. I'm gonna put my whale up here and I'm gonna put my scraps up in my little section where I always keep my scraps. And let's go ahead and we will do what we're gonna do with these two strips. So if you look at the between there, I made this little accordion piece. It helps because it makes it pop, but it also kind of wiggles. It makes it almost like it's swimming. This is kind of challenging, but I think we can do it. All right, so we're gonna try. Um, if not, I'll show you a second thing you can put behind your whale to make him pop off. You're gonna take your two strips and just a little bit of um, glue, and you're gonna make them create a corner. Okay, so one will go to the right and one will go down. You'll glue that together. Okay, got that? Then what you're gonna do is holding your corner, you're gonna take your strip that's going down and you're, make it gonna, you're gonna make it go up. Did you do that? Okay, so the down strip is now going to go up. The right strip is gonna go left. Okay, we got it. The up strip, it's going back down. The left strip is going right. You hanging in there? Okay, we're gonna keep doing that. So down goes up, right goes left. Up goes down, left goes right. They're going opposites, right? Down goes, yeah, it goes up. I heard someone say that. Right goes left, down, right, up, left. You guys got it? It's pretty cool once you get the hang of it. Okay, so we're gonna just finish it up, go to the very end till you have no more strip left. Do, 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 do. You're gonna see here, I'm gonna do my last one. That last one that you can fold down, yours might line up a little differently than mine. You'll put a little bit of glue on again. Probably should have left my glue open. Okay. Put a little bit of glue on that last little flap. And then this one, you're just gonna plop down. And just hold it for a second so we make sure that it's pretty well glued. And now you have your little accordion pop. Do, 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 do. No, just kidding. It doesn't really make music. Um, but that's what we're gonna put between our whale and our um, background. So let's make our background. Are you ready? Put your little accordion uh, popper up by your whale. Get your background. And let's just do a simple water scene. Um, we can put the top of where the water and the sky would kind of meet. I'm just gonna put some U's that look like they've been smushed all the way across. And I'll put a, some seagrass. I just do these kind of wavy lines that go up. Put a little bit of some ground. Maybe I'll put another little layer of ground. Maybe I'll put this like a rock so it's got some like algae or mossy type stuff growing on it couple of shells, maybe some clam shells hanging out over here. 
and we'll put a little more grassy stuff here. Again, anything you want. If you want to put a whole sunken pirate ship, since we learned how to do pirates, you could do that. If you want to put a buried treasure chest, you could do that. Anything that you would think you might see deep in this ocean here. Okay. And I'm going to pause it. I want you to go ahead and color it in. Okay. I don't want to rush you. So um, I'll leave mine up so you can see what it looks like on the pause screen. And then we'll meet back and we'll put it all together. All right, here we go. Time to put this all together. Now, I know I mentioned if you could not, we're having a tough time with the accordion, um, there's another way to do this. What you can do is take some of your scrap paper. You can take a little snip of it and you can kind of just fold it back and forth, back and forth. And you can glue that on just as easily. It won't be as um, effective as this. It won't have that jiggle to it, but it'll still make it where your um, whale pops off the paper. So that will work as well. With this, what we're gonna do is now simply put a touch of glue on one, the flat end, just like that. I know you can't really see me putting glue, but it's there. And you're gonna smush it down somewhere in your blue water and you're gonna put some glue on the top part and you'll add your whale on top of that, like so. And lastly, if you want to, you can add a couple of strips to make it look like the blowhole, like you just got out of the water. Again, you can just take a couple strips from your scrap paper Careful of those fingers if you cut. And what I do with this is I take it and I wrap it around a pencil of some sort, something that's kind of thin and round. Hold it for a second and when you pull it off, it gives it a little bit of a curl and you can stretch it. And then you'll just put a little glue and voila. So, what a fun project. Go ahead and take the time you need to finish up. I just heard Spencer walk in, so I think you might have a little message for you. I have one more fact for you. When a blue whale is swimming, it can hold its breath for 10 to 20 minutes. That's like the length of a TV show. Meow. All right, that was fun. And Spencer even gave us one extra little fun fact, which I didn't know about either. So. Um, take whatever time you need to finish up your whale. If you want, you can send me pictures. I love seeing pictures. Um, and then I can share them and Spencer gets to see them too. Um, and enjoy. If you get a chance, step outside, get some fresh air, a little vitamin D. Um, have a lovely day. Be kind. And I will catch you on the flip side. Bye. <laughs>